Okay, now in this lesson, I wanna to talk to you younger folks out there and I wanna talk about the importance of not procrastinating and I wanna talk about the time value of money. We've talked a lot about compounding interest. Now let's talk about time for a minute. So let's say that you are 20 years old and you wanna retire when you're 65. And let's say that you think you can average or get an actual return of about 7% over your lifetime. Well, if we take a look at, let's say $500 a month, let's say you're putting in $500 a month, that's $6,000 a year, until you are 65 years old, if I scroll down, all the way down to 64, by the time you're 65, you would have $1.8 million in your account if you got a steady 7%, which we know doesn't exactly happen that way, but if you got around a 7% return and you put in about $500 a month, from age 20 through age 65, that would be $270,000 that you contributed, which would have grown to $1.8 million. That is the beauty of time and compounding interest and getting started early. Because what if you waited until life was a little bit easier? You know, maybe you had a little bit more money, a little more disposable money, and you waited and started when you were 30 years old. Well, if you started just 10 years later, at age 30, you would have to save twice as much money to be able to accomplish the same goal. So keep in mind that even when you're young, if you can start sticking away just a little bit of money each month, even if you're working part-time or for sure the second you graduate college or, or get that first job, whether you go to college or trade school or just graduate high school and start working, whatever the case may be, as soon as you possibly can, Start saving as much as you possibly can because don't underestimate the importance of time. Time is huge when it comes to compounding interest and procrastination is your biggest killer.